Hello, welcome to Spurred On. I'm Rhys James here with Craig Mitch oh, again. He won't leave me alone. So, Nkudu looks like, at the time of filming, it looks like he is close to signing for Spurs. And he is coming from Ligue 1. French accent. Thank you very much. Okay. Is that, is that good? Yeah, Bonjour. Right. Yeah? Très bien. Ah, not even bothering. Pathetic. Uh, so what we thought we'd do is we thought we would run down the best five and worst five Ligue 1 signings for Spurs in the Premier League era. Yeah. So this is our top ten best and worst Ligue 1 signings. Craig is in charge of the worst. What a surprise. So we will kick off with who's your fifth worst signing for Spurs oh, from Ligue 1 oh. so the in the Prem. Fifth worst signing from Ligue 1 is Capu or Capoue, or however you want to pronounce his name. Uh, we signed him from Toulouse for 9.3 million. That is steep, isn't it, when you yes. think about his con contribution? Yes. He was part of the Magnificent Seven. You remember them? Yeah, I do remember. Yeah, I, I remember, remember the two Magnificent of them, yeah. Seven. Yeah, so he came with that bunch of crap apart from Ericsson Lumella. Keep making that clear. And maybe Chadley. And uh, most of them have gone, apart from Ericsson and Lumella and Chadley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Most of them have gone at the door. Uh, Capoue, we just kept him for a season, lost his place to Bentaleb. I mean, come on. He did it all right for half a season at Watford afterwards. Yeah, went to Watford, had some good half moments. Half a season. A few nutmegs, did what he had to do, but he was never really Never great, fit was he? in with Spurs, not good enough. Nah, I mean, do you know what, though? Enough. He was a player that didn't really play a lot, but every time he came on, he just didn't look like he was with Rubbish. it. Rubbish. I remember he got destroyed against Arsenal and yeah. Emirates as well. And then I just, I just so didn't want to slow. see him. So slow. What a slow didn't player. Want to see him. Anyway, uh, on to you. Number five, the fifth best, I have gone with Timu Tainio. Remember him? Yeah, of course I do. What you've got to remember is that he won the League Cup with yeah. Spurs. He came on in the final in the 75th minute. Uh, and just five minutes later, he was booked for time-wasting at a throw-in. What a legend. He <laughs> was taking too long. And I remember Jogba running up to him, screaming in his face, going, come on. Sick. And it was totally you reasonable, got, you to got, be you, fair. No, you got a time-waste Wasting in time. scenarios. Uh, we got him for free. He came on a free transfer. He was a versatile midfielder, played in a few different positions in midfield, from Auxerre. And uh, you don't remember him being versatile? I don't remember him being free. Oh, I see, right. Yeah, got him on free transfer. His contract ran up. Uh, he scored uh, famously in the 4-3 victory against West Ham in which Stalteri got the winner oh in the last God. minute. Yeah, Do you remember that yeah, game? Yeah, what yeah. an incredible yeah. match. Uh, Timmy Tainio, he's my number five. And you love his name, don't you? Oh, I love his name. Good lad, yeah, yeah. good lad. Who's your number four? In the a number worst. four on the worst league of signings is Benjamin Stambouli. He is not in the Magnificent Seven. No, he wasn't. Was Let's wrong. make that clear. Um, he is probably one of the slowest central midfielders I have ever seen. He was like a donkey. I think the only Spurs player I can remember being slower than him was probably Corluca. And he was slow. Very, very, very slow. slow. Every time Stambouli came on, he was like an impact player. Didn't really offer much to the game. We signed him from Montpellier, had him for one season. He made around 24 appearances. And then we signed him, sold him, sorry, back to PSG. He was a big flop. He was a big flop for Spurs. He yeah, was, wasn't, wasn't he? wasn't good enough. Yeah, he didn't really fit in very well. Came yeah, from League Off, we gave him back. It wasn't just slow. He just slowed the game down in general. Like, he was a slow well, I passer this. and he wasn't... He came out from nowhere. No one really knew much about him. Montpellier, come on, who really watches them? Came to us, didn't really play much, and then he gets a move to PSG. That was one of the most confusing things ever. Squad player there, though. Yeah, but what's the wage, what's the wage package? Yeah, I know, he's probably doing all right. And he's winning stuff, he's still lifted a trophy. Journeyman. He went from not winning anything. and International journeyman who wins trophies. Fair enough. Not a fan. Uh, fourth best, fourth best lead down yes. signing for Spurs. I've gone with Didier Zakora. Mm -hmm. Remember Didier Zakora? Of course. Loved Zakora. We signed him in 2006 after he had an impressive World Cup. Yeah. Uh, I saw him play live at that World Cup for Cote d'Ivoire. Ivory Coast. That's right. Uh, and they were playing against those Serbia. Those speak French. Serbia and Montenegro was who they were playing against in a 5 4. Serbia and Montenegro, now not a team. Uh, but it was 5 4. They were both already out by that point. Yep. And there was like five penalties in that match. Oh, it was wow. a good match. Zakora was quality. I remember him always just running over to Drogba and just like holding Drogba and bigging him up because he was like the star, basically. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, and he came from St. Etienne for 8.2 million. Uh, again, he won the League Cup with us. And I remember vividly in that match, he was running through on goal. I think it was still 0 0 at this point. Somehow, he'd got through on goal in a one on one. Zakora, I don't know if you remember, had the worst shot of a Spurs player I've ever seen in my life. I don't really he became like the new Stefan Freund with shoot whenever he got the ball as a joke. Uh, and then he got running through one on one with the keeper. Just got to hit the target and he skies it massively. But what he was good at, he was like a quality I was about midfield to say, player. Why is he on our best side I, after that? I could, because he was just amazing at holding midfield and just getting the ball. He got us up the pitch so yeah. quickly. Yeah. So much energy. 
Yeah, he reminded me, the way, it, with his ball control and how quickly he gets off the pitch and just go around players box to box, he reminds me a bit of Dembele. Yeah. But he's not nearly as sort of stoic and strong as Dembele. But yeah. quality player, uh, 8.2 mil, as I said. Uh, he never scored for us. Never? No, and that's because of his awful shooting. Wow. But still, quality player. He wasn't meant to be a striker. Didier Zakora, love ya. Also, good chant. In at number three, Tarabat. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've been playing too much Pokemon. So, this man, he does sound like a Pokemon, <laughs> I pronounce it like that. So, we signed Tarabat. him in 2007 <laughs> on loan um, from Lens, and then we signed at him El Tarabat. I've always called him Tarabat, though. That's yeah, the funny thing about you've it. You've always been wrong. How do I pronounce it? <laughs> Adele Tarat. 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 I honestly Sounds didn't know. Sounds like a flipping dinosaur. I didn't know who you were talking about until I looked at that. <laughs> Tarat. Adele, Adele Tarat. Okay, Adele Tarat. So we signed him in 2007 on loan from Lens and then he signed permanently, but he only made seven appearances. Did yeah, he, really... he, he fancied himself too much, didn't he? He'd always come on and he'd try and be really skillful, mm. try and take on players, no, he, do step no, he, overs. To be fair, he was a, a really skillful player. But it's not what we needed. He'd come on yeah. in times when we need a goal and then he'd suddenly start doing step overs, trying to impress people. I read that would and he'd really be like, get mate, frustrated with him. what are you doing? Pass the ball. And he'd lose the ball all the time. And I was happy to see him go. He did okay at QPR for a bit. He did well at QPR and then the yeah. championship. He, he pretty much got them promoted. But then he tailed off and he again, again. He just, he's a big ego. But apparently he's over in uh, League Off now, just absolutely ripping it up. Oh, fair enough. Yeah. He is a skillful player. He's a good good player, but wasn't right for wasn't, us. Wasn't a fan of him, no? No, not yeah, for me. He was, he was pretty poor. Not and for his me. name wasn't Tarabat. It was not Tarabat. It wasn't Tarabat. Uh, number three. Now, if it was up to me, and it sort of was, I'd have put this guy at number one. The best signing we ever made from League R. Benoit Asu oh, Ikoto. My favourite player ever in the history of football, love him, got a cat named after him. I've talked about this so many times on this he channel. He such a bad attitude. Love Asu Okoto. No, he had a quality attitude. He was relaxed. He was just doing his job against AC Milan when he wasn't like coming out. Everyone else was like pumped, like, yes. And then he came out, he was just like, chilled. What about the fact that he always tweeted in direct at us, even when he was signed to us? Since he's playing. left, he has been a, he's not <laughs> been that cool. He um, and Adam York kind of like He used to up. love his tweets when he was playing for us. He used to tweet all the time. Too many emojis, weirdly spelt words, but it's a second language. Uh, 2006, 3.5 million from Lon. Uh, left back legend uh, had cool, diff various cool left haircuts. Left back legend, absolute legend. I know a lot of people criticise him. He had some inconsistencies. He at would left never back. ever pass his way out. He would only dribble his way out of a situation every single. And he actually what did a hero. Time at the time. Yeah, exactly. Again, exactly. He did. He did. He, would, he, he was turned, good. He, he was always a cool. flag and still somehow. He was always it. cool and calm. But a lot of Spurs fans, with their outdated mentality, would scream, "Get it out! Get it out! Hoof it!" And that's not how you play football. Certainly not in France, which is where we got him from. Uh, he used to get the tube to football matches. That's why I liked him. He was a humble man. Did he? Yeah, there I heard was he had a smart car as well. Time, he, did, he had a smart car. If he wasn't driving his smart car, he was on the bloody tube, mate. Coming what to football matches like a guy. humble man. Sometimes he he had the afro. Yep. Sometimes he had the cornrows. Odd boots. He was. We'd wear odd boots. That's he right. He, he started the trend of odd boots. He did. He did. I believe he was doing it by accident because he was just such a silly boy. Was but he just a cheap skin? Other skate? players. <laughs> was he just a cheap skin? Yeah, he just... He, he, Fundamentally. No, he was just taking two different sponsorship deals at the same time. And then catching the tube. <laughs> taking one Adidas, one Nike boot, and then, yeah. And then, <laughs> and then, then just using his Oyster card. Um, he was great. I, I, I love him. I absolutely love and him. And we know you love him. And he's technically my third best ever And his cat is signing. actually cool. My cat's called Ben Asu Okoto, full name. Mental. All right, so, number two, Pamero. Now, if you remember Pamero... Oh, of course I remember Pamero. If you remember Pamero... He had, this is going to sound so weird, he had the hugest legs. He did. I have ever, did you actually notice He that? was a beast, he was an absolute beast. His calves were the size of my torso, literally. He would be walking down, he literally looked like a Pokemon. He looked like a rock Pokemon. How about that? Pamero, but he, was, he wasn't great though. Pamero I mean, and Tarabat. <laughs> Pamero and Tarabat. He signed from Nice um, and he made 25 appearances and he actually scored one goal, which isn't too bad for a centre half, but you know, he yeah. wasn't there for long. He was a slow player as well. It's the no legs. Way. It was no the legs. Way. They, they weighed him down. Yeah. He couldn't go nowhere with those legs. Ah, oh, good lad though. But he was solid like though. Him. He was yeah. solid. He was going for the challenges. He wasn't one of those like little funny sissy centre halves. He's really <laughs> going for it. Uh, really Who have we had? Someone. Who have we had this that you can think of who's been a sissy centre half? Um, Kabul. You reckon? All he would do is header it away. He would never crunch people, Kabul. You'd give, Fair really? enough. And he was also too slow. And we got him from Liga. Is he in your list? Nah, honourable mention. Honourable mention. He's honourable mention. Floating in between. But in at number two, Pamara. Fair enough. Number two for me for the best ever signings yep. for League R. It's our current captain, Hugo. 
Hugo Lloris. We got him from Lyon. Hold on. What? Number, number two. Number two. Hold on. Number two. It's joint. It's the joint. Skipper. It's joint first. Okay. Jack Sparrow, the captain. It's joint seriously? first. Joint number one. Joint number one. There is no such thing. He's, like, he's number one. Technically, okay. You he's literally our number one. You haven't seen who number one is yet. I don't need to see who the number one is. It's Hugo, mate. 11.8 million for Hugo oh. Lloris. That seems like a steal now, doesn't it? Given that he's had rumours last year of him going for like 50 million. And I think if we sold him now, yeah, he'd go for, for about 40, 50, oh. 60. Easily. Easily. So I think that's an absolute steal. He has been quality for us, very consistent and for he's us. Gorgeous. Good looking boy. About that. Good looking boy. You once saw him smoking yeah, on the rooftop. Gorgeous. He's a good lad. We like you, Hugo. You're just so narrowly second best ever what Spurs signing. Number two. All right, mate. You can't even say Tarabs. Who's your Who's your number one worst? Okay. Who's Tarabs? Who's your Who's your worst ever signing? Number from one is Kamenan. Kamenan. Right they now. They all sound like Pokemon. Now, is that a player I have heard of that you're pronouncing incorrectly, or do I just not know who that is? Kamenan. Okay, yeah, exactly. you're saying that right. Never Kamenan. heard of it. Listen, listen to this guy, right? So, he made zero appearances and scored zero goals. Yeah, naturally. And he was a striker. Uh, we signed him from La Masse, and he, we got him from their youth team. So, technically, when we signed him, he wasn't actually even a senior player. So, he came into our youth academy, broke through into the senior team, but then technically he didn't because he didn't play any games. And then we sold him. And uh, this team, actually, Le Mans, actually isn't even a professional team anymore. So at the time when we signed him, back in like 2000, they were in League R, but now they uh, went into liquidation. I don't know if I think it's harsh that he's in this list because he never really got any opportunity. He was a youth player that we signed that we picked out of nowhere somehow. Or if I think it's completely fair because he never did anything. But I mean, if he happens to be watching this video, he's got to be pretty shocked to have got a mention. He's going to be happy. He's watched Spurred on for the last year going, come on, they've got to bring me up at some point. <laughs> Finally, he goes, top five best and worst signings from League One. I've got to be in the best. Then you get number one worst number signing. Number one. Kamenam. Do you think it's a bit harsh me putting him in this list? Considering he, he was a only kid. Played, he's he played a... for the youth team, came in, zero appearances, No zero opportunities, goals, no chances. Played for a team that no longer exists. It is a little bit harsh. Well, it exists, but it's not a professional team. It's like a he, Where team is he now? now? Do you know? Um, he's actually 38 now, so... Oh, OK, got um, it. I don't know. Retired after an illustrious career. An illustrious career. Yeah. Christ, right. There you go, Kamenan. Worst League R signing of all time. Now it's time for the best League R signing of all time. I don't know who's going to top Hugo Lloris. I mean, they're going to have to pull something out of their hat here. It's your boy, Jürgen. Oh! Jürgen Klinsmann. OK. Y yep, you got to remember yep. that we signed him from Monaco. Yep. you got to remember that. OK. Guess how much he cost? Wrong. Two million pounds for Jurgen Klinsmann. Wow! Jurgen Klinsmann, one of the best Spurs players of all time. That is Two robbery. million pounds. Absolutely sensational. Wait, that's a um, he used to play for Monaco. He did well at Monaco for one year. Then he got injured for a bit of the second year that he was there. And then he started criticising other players' attitudes at Monaco. Mm. We signed him. Uh, when he came over, as we've talked about before on this channel, uh, he was a figure of controversy. A lot of the English media didn't like him because not only did the German team he was diver. in knock us out, but he was a bit of a diver. Then he scored a goal on his debut and celebrated by doing a dive celebration immediately. Oh, he was loved oh, oh, for his self-awareness. Best ever signing from Ligue 1 for Spurs, Jurgen Klinsmann, just slightly just pipping Hugo Lloris okay. to the post. Fair what enough. do you think? Is that fair? Do you think that's fair? No. No? You think Hugo still? <laughs> I mean, he only played one full season for us and then half a season on loan. So but to be fair, think of all the goals Klinsmann got and Hugo has never even scored for Spurs. So let us know in the comments if you think <laughs> that is fair and justification <laughs> for whether or not Tommy. Klinsmann should be above Lloris in this list. Personally, I think Asu Okoto is better than both of them. Uh, let us know any league on signings we missed. Obviously, Kabul we haven't mentioned, yeah. but I think Kabul, it's like the, sometimes he was good, sometimes he was awful. It would be harsh to put him in either list. Um, should Tarabat have been in there? <laughs> yeah, no, because he doesn't exist. Uh, let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Make <laughs> sure to like the video if you enjoyed it. Uh, subscribe if you're new, and we'll see you next time. How's it going, everyone? Welcome to Spurverts. It's me, Craig Mitz, joined by Reese James. Hello. How's it going? Not too bad. How are you? I'm good. All right, so on this episode, we're going to be talking about the Champions League draw they've announced.